Well, hello there, Kings and Queens. So I've been postponing to make this video for you. I want to show you how to make mayonnaise. I mean, you can make your own homemade mayonnaise. Why spend money buying mayonnaise? And you can make as much as you want, just with little ingredients, ingredients or stuff that you have in your house. One of the things that makes it really difficult for us to, you know, do home stuff most times is having the equipment that you need let me say a blender not so many houses have blender the hand blender or whatever thing you know you may need as equipment well i'm going to be using a blender but you can also use i i have two blenders but this is preferable to use i'll show you one more blender which i've never tried using and i don't think it's advisable for you to use it i mean they are heavy duty blenders i'll show you in a moment yeah so but you can also use um fork you can use a fork or an egg whisk I've never tried that but I learned it works and I think it will work but then you need to use your arm so well because it's going to pain you so I will tell you the ingredients and how to make this I'll tell you the point at where you can use the whisk or the fork so what do you need to make mayonnaise quite simple how many ingredients do you need I'll show you right away so this is what you need to do your mayonnaise to achieve a thick nice mayonnaise now some people use whole eggs yeah some people use whole eggs i mean all of the eggs why some people use only the yolks i have not used only the egg white and i don't think you can achieve mayonnaise doing that so this is basically non-veg mayonnaise because of the fact that i mean very typical vegetarians do not eat eggs you can also achieve this with milk liquid milk and what happens is that instead of using eggs either the egg yolk or the whole eggs you can replace it with milk and every other thing remains the same and you need a cup of oil mayonnaise is basically achieved with more oil so you need oil you need half teaspoon of salt and you need one teaspoon of sugar or oh, sorry you need like quarter teaspoon of salt and from my experience of making mayonnaise i have like learned that the more lime you use and a little bit more salt you get that salt taste which I like very much so I like to use more lime and I like to add a little bit more salt than required but today I have only one lime left at home so I'll be using this one piece of lime which you have to squeeze out and take away all the seeds so like I said this is the heavy duty blender that I don't use to do mayonnaise and I don't know if that can achieve mayonnaise I usually prefer to use this because this is basically used for non dry items so I it, it, it's better to use it for mayonnaise it will help you achieve better mayonnaise so let's get started like I said you need eggs for me I usually use more yolks and I use half part yolks half part whole eggs but today I'll be using three yolks of those eggs and I'm using two whole eggs that's how I do most of the time. Sometimes also I use four eggs and then I use I use four eggs in whole of those four eggs. So let's get started. Oh, I am very, very sorry. You also need this. This is mustard oil. As you can see, this bottle is a little bit old because I've been using it. It was almost full when I got it and I've been using it for making my mayonnaise. So you need mustard oil or mustard powder. So this mustard oil, I'll be like using, say, a cover of this mustard oil. Yeah, just one cover of this bottle is what I would usually use. But I'm used to knowing what quantity I need, so I do not usually measure it. I'm taking out the egg whites from three of the eggs. And I'm using two whole of the eggs. If 
if you have this, you can use it to squeeze your lime. Otherwise, you can use your hand to squeeze it off. But make sure you remove the seed. So I'm squeezing it directly because I'm able to remove the seed. And you know, I like to use my initiative to do a lot of cooking. So when I squeeze with this lime, I started putting some of the yeah, the rough edges of this lime. I put some bits of heat in the lime, and I realized that it does no harm. I don't know if it gives it more taste, but yeah, I do it. So, excuse me. If I had two lines, I wouldn't bother doing all the extra squeezing. So, what you do next is to add the salt, yeah, add the sugar. Basically, add everything except the oil. Add the mustard oil or the mustard powder. If you have mustard powder or if you're able to find mustard powder, then just add the equivalent of it. Yeah, that's it. So after you've done this, the next thing is to put it on top. Yeah, blender. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I told you you could use this, right? So what happens is after you've mixed all of these ingredients in a bowl, in a deep bowl that can allow you to waste, after you missed all of this, then you start whisking, you start whisking, you start whisking, and you need a second person to help you start doing what I will do with this for you when I'm blending. And then you keep whisking and whisking and whisking, and then you're going to get a thick mayonnaise. So let's achieve this thick mayonnaise by blending. Put it on and blend it. After you've done this, you have to open up. A little bit of space here where you can start pouring in this oil but some of those blenders have a hole here where you can pour in your oil in fact if you have any way any style you want to use to pour in your oil until you achieve a thick mayonnaise do that this is how I always do mine and I will always use a kitchen towel to cover this area because I don't want the lit splashes that usually come up. Hey dear kings and friends, never never stop blending. What did I say? Do not start blending at any point. If you start blending, you spoil your mayonnaise. So this is mayonnaise. You see? Your mayonnaise may be very, very thick and you don't like it to be that thick. What you simply do is take a spoon of warm water, pour it in the smart. You can taste it for the taste of your choice. You can decide to add some salt. Oh, I'm sorry, you cannot see this. Yeah, let me shift it up a little bit. Oh, it's pouring away. So you just pour it into a bottle container. Please do not pour it in a plastic container because, like I said, it's going to get spoiled after some time, and you do not want that happening. So pour it all in here. And like I said, never stop blending at any time until you achieve the thickness of your mayonnaise. When you have achieved the thickness, please do not blend more than required because you're going to spoil it. It's going to become lippy or it's going to, I mean, form some kind of, how do I put it? I, I don't know how to explain that, but I mean, you won't like what it will turn out if you have some kind of grains or something like that so please do not grind do not blend more than required so how do i get out the mayonnaise inside here sometimes i use a really long spoon sometimes i use my head and other times if i am cooking say if i'm making um tomato stew or i'm boiling meat i mean i'm boiling trying to make stock or whatever what i do is 
I rinse this stuff and I pour it into my tomatoes too or into the tomato to try to get it. It gives whatever I'm making a really nice taste but I never use it to make soup. I mean soup for swallow. So yeah, this is how to achieve my mayonnaise. When you put this in your fridge, after some hours, it thickens even more. The mayonnaise that was inside here, I finished it this morning, we used it for salad. Yeah, that's it. So I decided to make this. I've been postponing to make this video actually. So I wanted to make some shawarma and my mayonnaise has finished this morning. So I decided to, you know, just feel this and forget it once and for all. So guys, let's taste this. The truth is, the more you make mayonnaise, the better it gets every time. That's mayonnaise. Put it in the fridge. By tomorrow, or after some hours, it gets more thick and you can enjoy it even more. So, yeah, it's Go and make yours. You don't need much. Stop wasting a lot making mayonnaise. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please drop it in the comment box. If there is anything you want me to show how to make, please let me know. And if I know how to do it, I will simply film that and show you guys. I appreciate you all so much. Tell me if you need any clarification in the comment box and tell me if from afar my mayonnaise looks yummy. Yummy!